This Florida cooking segment brought to you by the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. Coming up next, it's char-grilled oysters. And we're using some of the best oysters in the world from Apalachicola. Ha! Now we're here in Apalachicola where arguably some of the best oysters in the world in the world reside right here. So, but before we jump into that, you know, I just want to ask you like what was it like Oof. that first season Man. cooking all that food yeah. in that 2 days we shot. Previously I'd done a little bit of TV, but not too much. We were doing like five or six cooking segments a day yeah, stacked upon each other and you know cracking the whip you guys the director and a producer all in there looking yeah. at me you know camera guys sound guys there was like eight of you guys but uh we we cranked it out man we did. one of the great memories i have of season two is that uh cedar key seafood extravaganza yeah. we did on the beach chef you have done it sir good job buddy you did it all right you know Eating-wise, it doesn't really get any better than that. You guys ready to eat? Yeah! yeah. Let's eat! And to have the energy of the people right yeah. there on the beach cheering you on. Gorgeous sunset. We loved that um, location feel. Instead of bringing the food into the studio, bring us out to where the food comes from. That's right. Jesus. Ha! Ha! Ch Chad! Ha! Put that thing away. Yeah, we got this Florida beef here. Oh, man. With all these amazing Florida veggies. Woo! And we got Key West pink shrimp and Royal Red shrimp. Oh, yes. I want to get back to our recipe okay. here. So uh, what's our first step with uh, char grilled oysters? All right, well, the first thing is, is I've got my nice hot grill. So next, I've just got some butter in here, about a half a pound. So we're just going to go ahead and get this on the grill. Let's okay. get some flavor in there. OK. All right, first thing I want to do is squeeze some lemon juice in here. Got a little Florida hot sauce here. This is gonna give it a little spice, a little tinge. We're gonna ladle this sauce right over the oysters as they're cooking in their own shell. Yeah, what a beautiful day we have oh, out here. perfect in here. In um, You know, it reminds me of when we shot the Catch and Cook yeah. out in Ponce Inlet. We were on this island called Disappearing Island, and it looks gorgeous. The sky was blue, mm -hmm. but what was the temperature? I, I would say 30 degrees, maybe. I don't know, is the tide coming in a little bit to you? I or? think it may be coming in a little bit. It was cold. Oh man. And it needed to look like it was warm. Yeah. So we're in like short sleeve shirt uh, and shorts. Standing in the water. Standing in the water. But we got through it somehow. It and did. it turned out to be a really nice piece. It did, it was a nice piece. So what's our next step here? Alright, next is time to get these oysters on the grill. Mm, nice. Got about a dozen here. This is a great way to do it if you're not into eating raw oysters. You could see around the tips, they're already starting to bubble and cook. It's like a hot tub in there. That's right. So we want to go ahead and add our butter. Mm. Let these flames kind of come up and char char around here. Oh, that looks awesome, chef. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to sprinkle a little Rocking of this Parmesan little cheese little parm on, on top of there. Oh, man. Just like that. And then just a little bit of parsley for some color on top. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Watch them. They will <laughs> pop a little bit. These popcorn oysters. And I think we're ready to plate these up. Man, that did happen quick. First thing we want to do, let's do a little lemon squeezy. We got some nice crusty bread there. I so cannot wait. All right. Just grab one, right? Yeah, put it on. I like to put my bread back down in there to Ooh. absorb some of them juices just like that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh. Char grilled oysters. For this recipe and many, many more, go to our website at howtodoflorida.com. This Florida cooking segment was brought to you by the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services.